A hamster is a funny looking roly poly rodent that always reminds me of a fat little panda. They're interesting from the scientific point of view in that all the hamsters kept in the entire world today are descendants of one hamster family that was found in the Sinai in the 1930s. And they've been domesticated since then and they're available in all different colors and hair types. They're solitary animals and they prefer to live alone. And they're still nocturnal, even though they've been domesticated for thousands and thousands of generations, and they prefer to sleep all day. But if you wake them up during the day gently, like I did with these guys here, they'll cheerfully interact with us. <laughs> they need an absorbent bedding in the cage, and there's so many cages that you can get for hamsters. And, you know, people see, think sometimes that these cages with the tubes and the ladders are kind of silly, but it keeps the hamsters busy. There's tubes in there, it resembles the natural habitat, and it keeps the child's interest in the hamster. Inside the cage, we have to put a very, very soft absorbent bedding, and this is important that you get the right kind of bedding so that there's no smell from their urine. That's real important from mom's point of view. They need to eat a mix that's pellets and seeds fortified with calcium, same thing that they would find in the natural desert home. They may be very small creatures, but they're still as dependent on us as dogs and cats are, and they deserve equal care. Remember, as with all pets, the love and attention you give them will reward you every day.